Hello, Tony Truck. Hmm, Tony doesn't seem to be keeping an eye on the road. Oh, look, it's Frankie the Frog. He's come to say hello. Watch out, Tony. Phew, that was a close one. Oh, no. It looks like Tony has lost some of his packages. You have to be careful next time, Frankie. Tony almost hit you. Ha, ah, what a cheeky frog. Look, Tony has left behind some of his packages. It looks like a bottle of bubble bath. It looks like Frankie has had a great idea. Ha, look at him go. Where are you rolling off to now? There's bubbles coming out of the bottle. Hey, look, it's Buster the bus. I think Buster wants to see where Frankie is rolling. There's even more bubbles now. It looks like you've got a pair of bubbly glasses, Buster. Hey, Scout, why don't you come along too on this bubbly adventure? Scout wants to play in the bubbles. The bubbles are flying everywhere. Oh, I like your hat, Scout. <laughs> you look funny with a mustache, Buster. It looks like Frankie might be heading for that lake. I think this cheeky frog has had an idea. Into the lake he rolls. Look at him go. Bubbles everywhere. Wow, he's made a bubble bath. Look at all the bubbly bubbles bubbling. Go on, Buster and Scout. Jump on in. They're having so much fun playing in the bubbles. <laughs> it looks like Frankie is the bubble captain of Bubble Lake. Here comes Scout with a gigantic bubble splash. So many bubbles everywhere. Oh, where's Frankie gone? <laughs> there he is. <gasps> it's time to go, I think. Bye-bye, Frankie. Thanks for a bubbly adventure. <laughs> Buster! Hey there, Buster. Oh, you're looking a little tired. Buster's fallen asleep. And what's this? Whiskers, a button nose, and ears? It's Easter Bunny Buster! Looking good! I think he likes his new bunny tail. Wonder where he's off to. Off to do some Easter Bunny errands, I hope. Oh, what's this? It's a burrow in the side of that hill. I wonder where this leads. Here he comes out the other side. Oh, look, Terry Tractor is having a nap. Wow, Easter Bunny Buster has given Terry a colorful Easter egg. Off he goes to spread more Easter joy. I wonder where this burrow leads. Over here, Bunny Buster. Robin is fast asleep. Time to leave another surprise Easter egg for when Robin wakes up. Back into another burrow he goes. <laughs> Who's this? It's Jessie the Jeep. Aw, she's sleeping. Easter Bunny Buster has left another egg for her when she wakes up. Such a busy little Easter Bunny Buster. These eggs won't deliver themselves. I wonder who else Bunny Buster has an egg for. It's Digger the Excavator. Quiet, Buster. Try not to wake him. <laughs> There's an egg in Digger's bucket. Great idea, Bunny Buster. Oh, dear. I think Easter Bunny Buster is feeling a little tired. Wake up, Buster. Oh, Easter Bunny Buster was all a dream. What a shame the eggs weren't real. But what's this? It's an Easter egg. Oh, wow. The real Easter Bunny has left Buster an Easter egg. What a lucky little bus. It's Buster, Scout, and Diggly. It's Christmas Eve, and they're excited for Santa to arrive with the presents. Time for bed, guys. Santa won't come if you're still wide awake. Uh-oh, it's that sneaky villain bandit bus. What's he up to this time? There's Santa, putting the presents under the tree. He must be very busy tonight. 
Oh no! Bandit is stealing all the presents from under the tree. What a villain he is! Now he's sneaking away. Whoop! Serves Bandit right. What's he seen now? The golden Christmas star. He's going to steal that as well. Oh dear. He's trying to pull it right off the tree. Look! Now Bandit is all tangled up. It'll take him ages to get untangled. It's taken all night, but Bandit is finally free. Now he's sneaking away with the presents. Oh. oh, poor Buster. All the presents have been stolen. He looks so upset. Bandit really is the worst. But wait, what's this? What's Bandit doing? Look, Bandit is putting all the presents back under the tree. Maybe he's not so mean huh? after all. All the presents are there after all. Buster is so happy. Merry Christmas! <laughs> hmm, there's Santa. He doesn't look very pleased with Bandit. But what's this? He puts a present for Bandit under the tree too. Bandit earned it by giving the presents back. You did the right thing, Bandit. Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice! Buster and Scout are really grooving! Nice work, guys! Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops! Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? <laughs> Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four! There! That sounds even better than before! At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster did. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano! Wow! They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow! It looks like an erupting volcano! Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited! They're going to do the experiment all by themselves! What a mess! It looks like Bandit didn't do it right! Oh no! Scouts didn't go right either! Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? 
Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay, they'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look, he's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone gets some yummy Easter eggs. What a beautiful day it is today. I think Buster is feeling a little hot. Hey, look, Scout has the right idea. An ice cream will cool you down, Buster. And it looks delicious. Do you hear that, Buster? It sounds like Iggy, the ice cream van. Hey there, Iggy. Buster wants an ice cream. Look at all the different flavors. Chocolate chip, vanilla sprinkles, triple towered scoop, raspberry swirl, strawberry and vanilla with chocolate sauce. Looks like Buster has made his choice. Wow, thanks, Iggy. Oh, that was quick, Buster. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Another one already? Oh, hey, Digger. He's joined the queue for an ice cream. Another ice cream coming right up. Buster, you really want a third ice cream? You're not the only one who wants ice cream, Buster. Mmm, yummy. A vanilla with a chocolate flake. The queue is getting bigger. And Buster wants a fourth ice cream. Yummy, this one has a cherry on top. Okay now, Buster, I think you've had enough. Digger and Billy are waiting patiently for their ice cream, and you are being greedy. Looks like Iggy has had enough of Buster's behavior. Ha, <laughs> you want more ice cream, Buster? Here you go. Ha, <laughs> look, it's Buster the ice cream. It's definitely still missing some toppings, though. A tasty chocolate flake and a cherry. Yummy. <laughs> that has definitely cooled Buster down. <laughs> Billy is enjoying that cherry. And Digger is tucking into a big scoop off the top. This Buster ice cream is really tasty. I'm sure Buster will think twice before he's greedy again. Thanks, Iggy, for some wonderful, tasty ice cream. Ice cream really is as good as it looks. Whoa! 
Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. <laughs> Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no! Buster has a wobbly tooth! That's really frightening! Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time, but he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know. Dinner's ready. Lots of tasty vegetables. But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aww. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out! That wasn't so bad. Buster feels much better now. Now it's time for bed. <laughs> Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the tooth fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. Hey there, Buster. What's that you can see in the sky? Oh, wow! It's Santa's sleigh! He's going very fast. Uh-oh. I think he's going to crash. Quick, Buster. Go and see if Santa needs any help. Whoa! There's the sleigh and the reindeer. And look, there's Santa himself. Oh. Oh dear, the sleigh Ooh. is broken. How will Santa deliver all the presents Ooh. in time now? <laughs> I wonder if there's anything Buster can do to help. Hmm. Hmm. I think Santa has an idea. I wonder Ooh. what he's got in mind. <laughs> Whoa! Santa is sitting on Buster! And what's that magical glitter he has there? Bless you, Buster! All right, off you go! Watch out for that tree! Wait! Wow! Buster is flying! Just like Santa's sleigh! Now they can deliver the presents in time! Look, it's Scout! Where'd that present come from? Good job, Buster and Santa. There's Diggly decorating the Christmas tree in the town square. Merry Christmas, Diggly. There's Terry out on his farm. Buster and Santa left a present for him, too. Wow, that's all the presents delivered. Well done, Buster. You helped Santa out. Now he's back home at the North Pole. It's that magic powder again. I see. The magic powder is what lets Buster fly. Merry Christmas, Buster. Hey, Buster. Looks like another day to have fun. Oh, no. It's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out. You will crash. Wait, what's happening? Oh, wow! You're floating in the air! Oh. <laughs> this is incredible, Buster! Hmm? <laughs> I wonder if you can fly! Oh, wow! You've turned into a superhero! You are so fast! Super Buster is here! Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. 
Oh no! He's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped Otis in the tunnel. You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty bandit bus. There's Bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out. Poor Scout. <laughs> Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. <laughs> Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. Phew. Now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the pond. <laughs> Look at Bandit, he's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. Hey everyone, what a lovely sunset. I bet Buster has had so much fun in the sun. I wonder what that green slime is. Oh no, it's dropped on Buster and I don't think he's noticed. What's happening? Something isn't right. Look at all the gravestones and pumpkins appearing. This is spooky. And what's happened to Buster? I think that green slime has changed Buster into a zombie. That's one big pumpkin digger is carving, and it looks great. Who's that? Oh no, it's Zombie Buster. Digger is really frightened, but I don't think Buster knows what he looks like. Oh look, it's Scout. Buster is so happy to see her. Oh no, she seems scared too. Oh no, Scout is hiding from Buster, just like Digger did. <sighs> Poor Buster is so upset and lonely. Come on, Scout. Buster is your friend. I think Scout has an idea. <gasps> she wants Buster to follow her. Do you see now, Buster? You look like a zombie. That's why everyone is scared of you. Don't worry, Buster. Look, the slime has come off on Scout's wheel. I think Scout has a plan. A car wash? Good idea, Scout. Buster always loves a car wash. Yay, the green has gone. Buster is no longer a zombie. That was super spooky, Buster. Oh my, Scout, you sound like a werewolf. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> what a bright, sunny day it is. Oh, look, it's Diggly and CJ. They're filling up CJ's mixer with water. <laughs> what are they both up to? Look, there's Buster and Scout. Phew, what a hot day. I wonder what they can do to cool down. Whoa, Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons. <gasps> Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea. Ooh, a water balloon fight. Ready, set, off they go. What are Buster and Scout planning? Oh, look, Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash. Uh-oh, Scout has been hit. And bullseye. Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? It's Scout. But she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster. He splashes CJ from behind. Quick, Buster. Oh no, CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered. What are they going to do? Aha, an umbrella. I think Buster's got a plan. CJ and Diggly take aim. But Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella. Great idea, Buster. Uh-oh, Diggly and CJ are filling up again. 
Whoa! Look at the size of that balloon! Looks like Buster is in trouble. Wow! Nice shot, Buster! <laughs> that was so much fun. It's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look! There's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team. Though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm. Buster thinks they should go this way. But Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear. They can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look! Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. Whoosh! Off they go! That's more like it. Now it's a real fun snowball fight. It's much better with teamwork. <laughs> Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is. Hey there, Buster. He's going for a drive with Scout. Look, there's Tony the delivery truck. Looks like Scout and Buster are going to follow Tony to see where he's going today. They're having so much fun together. <laughs> Silly Scout. Buster isn't paying attention to the road. Watch out, Buster! Whew, that was a close one. Pay attention, Buster. You nearly crashed into the back of Tony. Oh, look. There's a pothole in the road. And Tony is heading straight for it. Oh, no! The pothole has caused Tony's doors to unlock. Watch out, Buster and Scout. It looks like some of those boxes might tumble out. The boxes have started to fly out into the road. I don't think Tony has even noticed. And another box is about to fall out. Wow, quick thinking, Buster. Great catch. Here comes another one. Well done, Scout. Great work. Oh, no! Be careful, Scout. Scout has lost control and skidded off the road. Her box has gone flying up into that tree. Oh, look! Tony is going to have to stop at that red light. This will buy you some time. Quickly, Buster. You haven't got long to return the boxes. <laughs> nice thinking, Buster. Now all you need to do is work out how to load the boxes back where they belong. It looks like Scout has an idea. Great work, Scout. You can use that plank of wood as a ramp. There we go! A perfect place to unload the boxes. Great teamwork! <laughs> now you can close the doors, Buster. Just in time for the green light! Off Tony goes! I guess he'll never know how close he came to losing all of his boxes! Well done, Buster! Well done, Scout! It's a sunny day in the school playground. And Buster and Scout are drawing together. Uh-oh. Looks like they both want the blue crayon. Buster snatches it. And now Scout is trying to snatch it back. It's given Buster and Bandit a great idea for a game they can all play together. Using their imaginations. It's cops and robbers! Buster and Bandit are the robbers. 
and Ash and Scout are the cops trying to catch them. Off they go, the chase is on. Buster and Bandit are splitting up. Oh no, Bandit is cornered. Aha, he's got a plan. Where has he gone? Hang on a second, that fox is moving. Quick, Ash, you can catch him. He's jumping off that ramp. Go, Buster! I wonder if Buster and Bandit are going to escape. They're all getting very close. Whoa, watch out! Buster and Bandit have driven straight into jail. Hooray for the cops, Scout, and Ash. Time to give up the crayon, Buster. <laughs> that was fantastic. What a brilliant game. Now Scout can finally finish off her drawing. Buster and Bandit are free to go. What a fantastic playtime, everyone. Daddy Bus and Buster are driving across the hills. Oh, look. It's a baby deer. What's it running from? Huh? It's Traxon in the train. Oh no, what's wrong? Traxon can't stop. Quick, Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue. Oh no, he's speeding up. Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car. This is an emergency. There's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But, oh no, Terry is crossing the tracks. Change them, quick! That was close. Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy. Oh no, watch out! Phew, Daddy was just in time. Looks like Buster has a plan. <laughs> They need to direct Traxon towards the hill. The hill is slowing him down. He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh, look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh, dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed. Great work, Buster. Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. <laughs> They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. <gasps> Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. Oh. 
<laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. <gasps> oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on. The water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray, it worked. Oh dear, what a mess. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again! It's Buster and Robin. Buster looks like he's enjoying that bubblegum a lot. What's that? A message in a bottle. I wonder what it is. Whoa! It's a treasure map! X marks the spot. Buster and Robin are going to find the buried treasure. Now which way should they go? There's the jetty. And look, there's the desert island. They found it. Uh-oh, the water is full of sharks. They'll need to find a safe way across. <laughs> look, it's Katrina, the steamboat. She's stuck on the beach. She could use a push back into the water. That's it, Buster. Well done. Great. Katrina is back on the water. But oh dear, there's a hole. Katrina could sink if someone doesn't fix it. I think Buster has a plan. I wonder what he's doing with the bubble gum. Oh, he's using the bubble gum to block up the hole. Very clever, Buster. The sharks won't catch them now. Next stop, the desert island. Great, Buster's arrived on the island. Now he just needs to find the treasure. It's around here somewhere. There, X marks the spot. Buster's digging down. Wow, a treasure chest. Look, a coin. I wonder what Buster will use it for. Look, Diggly is working on Katrina, fixing up her leak. Oh, Buster is using the coin to pay Diggly. He's helping Katrina get fixed to say thank you to his new friend. What a fun adventure. Hey there, Buster. Oh, wow, a soccer ball. Ooh. Look, it's Scout. She wants to play. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> nice one, Scout. <laughs> Who's that driving down the road? It's Tony the truck. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no, Buster. <clears throat> Be careful where you kick the ball. Watch out for Tony. Ouch, that must have hurt. I hope Tony is okay. Buster, you have to be more careful. Watch out for that pin. Oh no, it's punctured Buster's tire. 
Look, Scout. Whoa. Pony the truck needs help. I know who Ooh. we need. Oh. Yay! Oh. Amber the ambulance. Huh? Good job, Scout. Mm. It sure is an eventful day. Mm. I hope you feel better soon, Tony. Whoa. Oh, Buster, that sure looks mm. painful. Don't worry mm. now. It was only an accident. Mm. Tony is in <gasps> safe hands, and Amber will come back shortly. Buster, look, it's Amber. Let's get you fixed. <sighs> Off to the garage, Buster goes. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Tony looks mm. great. <laughs> Buster is getting a new tire. All fixed. Mm. Oh, Buster, wow. accidents happen. Be more careful next time. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Buster is being more careful. Look huh? left, look huh? right. Now that's more like it. <laughs> well done, Buster. Over here, Buster. <laughs> It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? Huh? He's left his toys all over the floor. Oh. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! Oh, wow! Buster's become a rocket, and he's going to space! Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off! Look at Buster go! All right! You did it, Buster! You're in outer space! What a cool place to be. I think Buster wants to go space exploring. Look at that. It's a red planet. Let's go in for a closer look. Hey there, little space buddy. I bet that alien has never seen a bus before. Where are you off to now, Buster? Oh, a yellow planet. It's so beautiful with that huge ring around it. Look at that. Buster's gonna go for a drive around the ring. Let's see how fast you can go. Whoa! That was fun! What's Buster seeing now? It's a purple planet. Isn't it huge? Whoa! Round and round the planets Buster goes. Round the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. But wait, 
Oh no! A blue planet! Buster's going too fast! I think he's going to hit it! Oh, thank goodness! It was only a dream! You're okay, Buster. Look, Scout is using her telescope to look at the night sky. Take a look, Buster. There's the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. Hello, little space buddy. <laughs> look, it's Buster the Bus on a bright new morning. What's he going to do today? What's that? Seeds? Whoa! Buster's going to grow some fruits and vegetables. Buster heads to his vegetable patch and takes a look at the instructions. First, he needs to dig a hole to plant the seeds in. Buster starts digging. Oh dear, this could take a long time. But look, there's Diggly. He'll be able to help. Diggly's the best at digging, and he's always happy to help his friend. Diggly will have holes for the seeds dug in no time. There, no problem. Now Buster plants all the seeds in the holes and looks at step two. Sunshine. The seeds need sunshine to grow. But uh-oh, it's a cloudy day. But look, there's Monty, the hot air balloon. Maybe he can help. There, Monty's pushed the cloud away. Now the seeds are growing. Now, step three. Rain? Looks like another job for Monty. He's hopping on the cloud and perfect! Now they just have to wait for the seeds to grow. Many days pass. The plants get bigger. Then one bright morning, Buster checks his calendar. Today is the day! <laughs> Look! Red tomatoes, orange pumpkins, yellow sweet corn, green beans, and purple eggplants. Well done, Buster! Look at all the colorful fruit and vegetables he's grown. Now he can share them with his friends. It's Buster the bus. I wonder what he's up to today. An Easter egg hunt. There's one Easter egg. Nice work, Buster. There's another! That's two! And three, four, five! So many! Whoa! That's a lot of Easter eggs, Buster! Mmm! They look yummy! Buster loves chocolate eggs! Tasty! Buster's eating as many eggs as he wants! Good morning, Buster. Oh dear, Buster looks very unwell. He has a tummy ache. I think he ate too many chocolate Easter eggs. Here comes Scout the car to see if Buster's okay. He looks really sick. Poor Buster. Scout is going to take him to Amber the ambulance. She'll be able to help. There's Amber. She always knows how to make little buses feel better. Hmm. Hmm. Yup, Buster is sick all right. But luckily, Amber has some medicine to help. Open wide, Buster. That'll make you feel better. But that's not all. If Buster wants to fix his tummy ache, he needs to eat some healthy food, like an apple. Hmm. There, that'll soothe Buster's grumbly tummy. The next day, Buster is feeling much better. Oh, hey, it's Diggly the Digger. What's Diggly got there? Uh-oh, I think Buster has had enough chocolate Easter eggs for one Easter. It's a windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look, it's a kite! Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow, it's flying so high! Well done, Buster! Look, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. 
Oh no! A big gust of wind has blown the kite away! It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed! Don't worry, Buster. Daddy has a plan. Oops! Watch out, Daddy Bus! Whoa! Great header! Go, Buster! Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud. Daddy heaves him out. Great teamwork, guys. Uh-oh! A tree has fallen across the road. But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow, that was awesome! Quick, there's Monty! Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud and Monty has finally noticed a kite wrapped around him. Oops! <laughs> Buster gets his kite back. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew, that was a close one. It's Buster the Bus. He looks very happy, doesn't he? But, oh no, it started to rain. And there's some scary thunder and lightning. Uh-oh. It's a thunderstorm! Whoa, look out for Scout, Buster! Oh dear. Buster is so scared of the thunderstorm, he has left Scout behind in the rain. And now her wheel is stuck in the puddle. The lightning is everywhere now! Phew! Buster's safe and sound in the garage. But what about Scout? Look! He has seen Scout. She really is stuck in that puddle. Will Buster be brave enough to go and help her? Scout's really struggling. Poor Buster. He is so scared of the thunder and lightning, isn't he? You can do it, Buster. Wow, the lightning is so bright and scary. Yay! Go, Buster! He looks very determined to help Scout now. A quick push should do the trick. Yay! Scout's free! Look how happy she is. Well done, Buster. Ooh, the thunder is still very loud, though. Oh, but look! Buster has overcome his fear. Buster and Scout are happily heading back to the garage to get in from the rain. Ah! Ooh, ha -ha, that thunder just made Ooh. both of them jump. Bye, Buster. <laughs> Bye, Scout. It's fall. And Buster the Bus and his friends are outside playing. <gasps> Look at all the leaves falling off the trees. What's this? I think Scout has an idea for a game. Oh, Scout wants to play hide and seek. What a great idea. You count, Buster, whilst everybody else goes and hides. Tony the truck is hiding in the barn. Jesse the Jeep is hiding under that box. Diggly the digger is going to dig a hole behind those bushes. Quick, Scout. You need to find somewhere to hide before Buster is done counting. But where? Three, two, one. Coming, ready or not. Where is everyone? Buster's going to seek. Is anyone hiding in that barn? Yes! You found Tony the truck, Buster! What about these boxes? Is anyone hiding here? I guess not. Wait a minute! Is that box 
following you, Buster? <laughs> that must mean, yes, you found Jesse the Jeep. Good job. What about those bushes? Anyone hiding there? Look, there's Robin. <gasps> Did you see that? I wonder if… That's right! You found Diggly the Digger! Hooray! That just leaves Scout. I wonder where she could be hiding. Wait, did you notice something funny about that pile of leaves? There, Scout! Well done, Buster! You found all of your friends hiding places! Wasn't that fun? Look! It's Buster! And he's having fun playing in the muddy puddles! And who's this? It's Cozy Coop! Buster loves making new friends. He wants Cozy to play with him. Cozy's a bit shy. But Buster encourages Cozy. Playing in the muddy puddles is so much fun! Cozy jumps in. Hooray! Now they're playing together! Hop, hop, hop through the muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash. That was great fun, but now they're all muddy. Time to head off to the car wash to get cleaned up. There it is! Buster's going to show Cozy how the car wash works. Buster turns it on, the rollers spin, and in they go! But wait, that's not right! They're still muddy! The car wash didn't clean them! Something must be wrong! Buster goes to take a closer look. Cozy tries pushing some buttons. Oops! The roller bonks Buster on the head. And what's this? The water button? Uh-oh. What's that noise? Splash! Buster and Cozy got all wet. But they're still all muddy, too. Something still isn't right with the car wash. Cozy goes in, and Buster looks at the controls. There. Uh-oh. The lever is stuck. Buster can't turn it off. Whoa! Look at all those bubbles. Phew! Otis the police car turned the car wash off. Now Buster and Cozy are clean at last. But look! Otis is all covered in bubbles. Oops! It's a sunny day in the park, and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look! Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it! Hop over the rope! Phew! That was tiring! What a great day! And now it's time to go home! But uh-oh! That's an awful lot of mess they've left behind! Buster doesn't want to clean up! But look! Scout and Diggly are stopping him! They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up! It won't take long to clean up! It could even be fun! Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. <laughs> Bouncing the soccer ball between them, <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them, this is almost like a game! Next, the cone. Look! Scout's catching them on her bonnet! Now Buster is collapsing the goal. Nice work! Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done! That wasn't so hard. Oops! Buster nudged the toy box, and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no! It's fallen over, and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work… What's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right! They can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again! Everything will be cleaned up again in no time! There! Well done, everyone! Hey there, Buster! My, you're looking messy today! It's so much fun to play in the muddy puddles! Come on now, Buster! Time to go to the car wash! You'll be squeaky clean again in no time. <laughs> hey there, Tony Truck. Whoops, he knocked out the power cable. 
Oh no! The car wash is turned off and Buster is stuck inside. Quick, Scout! Buster needs your help! He's really stuck tight. Maybe if you give him a push. Ugh, it's no good. He won't budge. It'll be okay, Buster. Scout's going to get help. Be brave. Wow, here comes Scout. And she's brought Ashley the fire truck, Amber the ambulance, and Otis the police car with her. You'll be okay now, Buster. The emergency vehicles are here to help. I think Ashley has a plan. Grab hold of that rope, Buster. They're going to drag you free. All together now, everybody. Heave! Hard as you can. Come on, everyone. What's this? Scout spotted the plug that got knocked out. Maybe if she plugs it back in. Yes! The car wash is back on, and Buster is free. Oh, thank goodness for that. Good teamwork, everybody. <laughs> look, it's Buster, our favorite yellow bus. But wait, you don't look as bright and yellow as usual. Oh, Buster, I think you need a new coat of paint. You're looking a little scruffy. Great idea. A trip to the paint shop will do the trick. He looks like one happy customer. Buster can't wait to get a fresh new coat of yellow paint. He's going to look good as new. Oh my, what was that? That made you jump, didn't it, Buster? Oh no, Buster's mixed up the paint cans. I don't think he's realized. Is that gonna be the right color? Here goes, Buster. A fresh new coat of yellow, oh no! That's not yellow. Buster has been sprayed red, and I don't think he's noticed. Scout looks a little shocked. Take a look at yourself, Buster. You're a red bus. Quickly, back to the paint shop. Oh dear, you've knocked over all the paint. How will you be able to tell which color is which? Here goes. Oh no, that's not quite right. Buster is now blue. Jesse seems very surprised. Yes, it's because of how blue you are, Buster. Off he goes to try again. Maybe this time you'll come out yellow. Hmm, still not yellow. Now Buster is green. Look at how confused Tony is. He's never seen a green Buster the bus before. Fourth time lucky. Close your eyes and wish for yellow, Buster. Oh no! Buster has now been sprayed pink. Jesse and Scout still don't seem to recognize you, Buster. Wait, Buster, I'm not sure that's the answer. <laughs> Buster the rainbow colored bus. I'm not sure if Robin approves. You're a rainbow, Buster. Which paint can to choose from? One of these must be yellow. The moment of truth. Phew, there we go. That's the Buster the Bus we all know. With a bright new shiny coat of yellow paint. Well done, Buster. That was quite a colorful adventure. What's this machine Diggly the Digger has built? It's a big paint cannon. But looks like he's forgotten something. Off he goes. Here comes Buster and his friend Cozy Coop. They've seen the paint cannon. Looks like they're going to play with it. I wonder what it does. It looks like it's loaded with these paint cans. Cozy's investigating. This lever aims the cannon. And this button shoots some paint. Whoa! They turned the green tree purple. Amazing! Look, now Buster wants to change color. Cozy aims the cannon. Hooray! Buster is now pink. Coloring things is so much fun. What should they color next? Cozy pushes the button again and again. Whoa, they're shooting big dollops of paint high into the air. They're coloring in the clouds. There's Terry the tractor. His hay has been painted blue. Uh-oh, Terry's turned yellow. There's Scout the car. She's seen all the paint on the road. Now she's turned green. She looks really surprised. Diggly's coming back. 
Uh-oh. Oh. Now Diggly is purple. I think Diggly knows what's going on. Buster and Cozy are still having fun, but uh-oh. Their friends don't look very happy about their colors being changed. I think it's time to put everything back to normal. Blue, purple, red, yellow. There, back to normal. Now, what's Diggly doing with that sheet of paper? I think he has an idea. They've used the cannon to paint a rainbow. Hooray! Look, there's Scout. And there's Buster. I think they're playing tag. What's Buster seen? Oh, wow. A maze. Scout is going inside. Go on, Buster. Try and find her. I wonder which way Scout went. There she is. Off they go, winding their way through the maze. Which way should Buster go now? This way. Oh, look! A yellow flower. How nice. A few more turns and... Which way this time? This way. Wait a minute. It's that flower again. Buster's gone round in circles. Maybe if he backs up, he can find his way out? There's Scout. She looks lost, too. Whoa! Buster and Scout have found each other. Thank goodness. But now, they need to find the way out. Scout is balancing on Buster's roof. Maybe she can see a way out. There it is! Good job, Scout! They're speeding off towards the exit. But which way is it? Oh dear, they're still lost in the maze. Look, tire tracks. They can follow those all the way to the way out. Good thinking, Buster. There's that flower again. A little further and hooray! They made it out. Great teamwork, guys. Look, it's Rita the sports car. She's speeding into the maze. Oh well, I guess Buster and Scout will have to help her find her way out. Buster, Mommy Bus, and Ash are at the Soft Play Center. How exciting! Looks like Buster wants to play in the big kids section, but he's not quite big enough yet. Wow, this is amazing! Ash is very excited, but Buster thinks he's too old for soft play. They're having so much fun! Look at them go! But Buster doesn't want to join. Now they're bouncing on the trampoline. Whee! That does look like lots of fun, Buster. Nope, he's still not going to play. What is Ash running from? Oh, look, it's Captain Mommy. Arg! <laughs> Quick, run away, Ash! He's escaped to the ball pit. That looks like so much fun! Now Buster wants to join in. Quick, the captain is going to catch you! Go, Buster! Buster is really getting into this now. Ahoy, me hearties! What was that? <laughs> gotcha! It's Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash to the rescue! Run away! <laughs> Look at them go! Watch out, Captain Mommy! Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash have saved the day! See, Buster? The soft play center was lots of fun after all! Buster has arrived early for school today! There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout slipped too. Phew! 
Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. Hey. And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. They can swap jobs. Scout can collect up all the letters. Then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Everything looks normal. Apart from that letter. And the time isn't right. And the number. One, two, three, four. Good as Buster new. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. Now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race! Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! <laughs> Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops! 
Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash. <laughs> and there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. It's the end of school, and it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no. The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops. There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. <laughs> There's Buster and Scout. <laughs> They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no. Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. 
Now Buster is heading inside <laughs> and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all. Poor Buster. Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. Scout's feeling better too. They can go outside and play again. But wait, Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. Good job, everyone. Wait, Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks too so they don't get sick. There. Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and… Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots, and he scores! Oh no! Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops! I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh, look! It's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball. <laughs> he does need the practice. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look, it's Grandpa Bus. Oops, now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where is he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha! There's the soap. Grandpa adds a small squirt. And Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny. That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. 
Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. Whoa, go easy, Buster! The bubbles are overflowing! Oh dear, what a soapy mess! Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day! You're looking very cheerful today, Buster. What's that you've seen? Oh, wow! A kitten! It's adorable! Careful, Buster. You're really big, and the cat is really small. Oh, dear. I think you scared her, Buster. I wonder where she's going. You're too big to go under the fence, Buster. You'll have to go around. Where's that kitten gotten to? Uh-oh! She's stuck up in that tall tree. You've got to rescue her, Buster. A trampoline? What a good idea! That'll be a nice soft landing for the kitten. Bounce? Oh no! The kitten bounced right the way back up into the tree. Let's try something else. A net? Good idea, Buster. Careful now. Gently. Gently. Oh, look, a bee! Stay still, Buster. I don't think he means any harm, but... Oh, dear. The net is broken, too. Back to the drawing board. Hold on. I think Buster has another idea. Of course! Buster's brought Ashley the fire truck. She'll be able to reach the kitten with her tall ladder. There we go. <laughs> the kitten will be safe now. Oh no, I think the kitten is too scared to come down the ladder. I wonder what Buster has planned. Oh yes! The kitten's ball of wool. She'll come down to play with that. Look how happy the kitten is. Here she comes down the ladder. There, safe and sound. Nice work, Buster. Wow, Buster, look at that red balloon. Why don't you try and catch it? <laughs> nice try, Buster. But it's floating away. Aw, Buster looks sad. Oh, hey, little Robin. You might be able to catch the runaway red balloon. There we go. Thanks, Robin. That's a nice looking balloon, Buster. Oh, wow, there's another balloon. This one is green. Quick, Robin, catch it. There we go. Now you have two balloons, Buster. Gosh, look at all those colorful balloons. You know what to do, Robin. <laughs> Buster! The balloons are lifting you off the ground. Robin has lost Buster. He's up there, Robin. Buster's flying. It's okay, Buster. Don't be scared. Look at the view from up here. <laughs> Terry can't work out where that horn is coming from. Look up there, Terry. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Buster the bus. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Oh, Buster, you're floating quite high now. Terry looks so small down there on the ground. I think Buster is starting to get scared. You don't want to end up in space, Buster. Robin, you've got to help. Great idea. If you pop the balloons, Buster will hopefully float down. Oh no, Buster's falling really quickly. It's okay, Buster, you've nearly reached the ground. I think a few more balloons will do it, Robin. And touchdown. Buster is pleased to be back on the ground. I think we should leave the flying to Robin, Buster. Oh, where's Robin going? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> another balloon? I think Buster has had enough of balloons for one day. Bye, Buster. <laughs> Bye, Robin. Buster the bus. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun flying that kite. Look out! Oh no! Scout accidentally hit Buster, and now the kite has flown away. I'm sure Scout didn't mean it, Buster. <laughs> Look, what's this? It's a letter addressed to Santa, but it's not been delivered. 
I think Buster has an idea. He's going to deliver the letter himself to make sure it gets to Santa safely. Oh no, the letter! Phew, thanks for the help, Robin. Off Buster goes. It's a long way to the North Pole where Santa lives. It's cold and tough. Be careful you don't get lost, Buster. Oh dear, almost there, Buster. What's this? Reindeer tracks? Look, it's Santa! Buster made it! Santa's saying hello, Buster. Go and give him the letter. Buster's driven such a long way to deliver it. Let's see what it says. Whoa! It's asking Santa to give Buster a kite for Christmas. It's from Scout. What a loyal friend Scout is. I think Santa knows what to do. Well done for delivering the letter, Buster. It's Christmas morning. Wake up, Buster. Oh, there's nothing under the tree. Maybe Santa was too busy. Wait, there's a present after all. Merry Christmas, Buster. And there it is, just like Scout asked. A kite to replace the one Buster lost. Thank you, Scout. What a thoughtful Christmas gift. Gather round and hear the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. There's Buster the Bus. Looks like he's driving through the enchanted forest. But wait, what's this by the road? I think it's a spell book. Wow, Buster can use that to do magic. Look, it's Scout, Terry, and Jesse in the town square. I think Buster's going to try casting some spells. Let's see now. Whoa, a wizard's hat. Buster really is doing magic. I wonder what spell Buster can use to help Terry. Abracadabra. Wow, Buster made the plants grow. Nice work, wizard Buster. What other spells are in the spell book? The bee spell? Oh, look, Buster turned Scout into a bee. She's having so much fun flying around. I think Jessie wants to fly too. What spells are there for that? Bubbles? Cool! Jessie's floating around in her own bubble. Nice work, Wizard Buster! Oh look, he's very sleepy. Time for a nap, Buster. Uh-oh, I think something's gone wrong. The magic is out of control. Quick, Buster, you've got to put everything back to normal. Hurry, Buster! All the spells are canceled. But I don't think Buster's friends are very happy with him. Buster's putting the spell book back where he found it. And that's the end of the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. Buster and Grandpa are visiting the Christmas Winter Wonderland. Look at all the amazing stalls. Wow, Buster really wants to win that teddy bear. He's asking Grandpa if they can play. They get three throws to knock down the cans. Oops, Buster missed. Oh dear, that's all three of his throws. He's having another go. Oh no, he missed again. Buster's upset, but I think Grandpa can teach Buster a thing or two about throwing. The key to hitting what you aim at is to take your time. First, you take a big, long breath. Then take aim, crouch low, and throw. Whoa! Grandpa hit the cans! Now it's Buster's turn. A big, long breath. Take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! Nice shot, Buster! 
Now, time to go win that teddy bear. Oh dear, Buster didn't take his time. He needs to take a big, long breath, take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! Buster did it! Well done, Buster! And here's his prize! Buster's so proud of himself! Look, it's Buster the bus! He's having a day on the beach! Doesn't it look lovely? Oh no! Buster, your wheels are stuck in the sand! That wasn't part of the plan! Look at Digger! He's not getting stuck thanks to his caterpillar tracks! And who's this? Sandy the seagull! I wonder if Sandy will be able to help! I think she wants you to follow her, Buster! That's it, Buster! If you move one wheel at a time, you won't get stuck again! Digger's digging a hole! Oh, look out, Buster! What's that? A bucket and a spade? I think Sandy wants you to help her build a sand castle. Just a bit more sand. Turn it over and there, a sand castle. Well done, Buster. Isn't it pretty? Good job. Oh, wow. Digger's sand castle is amazing. It's much bigger than yours. He's, wait, Buster, look out. Mind the hole. At least Digger's here to get you out again. I think Digger's really proud of his brilliant sandcastle. Oh no, Sandy, don't land there. You'll destroy the sandcastle. I don't think Sandy realizes what she's doing. Oh no, it's just a big pile of sand now. And what's that noise? A wave! Watch out, guys! Poor Digger. But wait! Not all the sand castles have been destroyed. Buster's little castle is still standing. And now it's the biggest and the best, thanks to Sandy. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you had a great fun day at the beach. It's a bright, sunny day. Buster and Cozy Coop are visiting the beach. They're playing volleyball. And look, Sham the shark wants to play too. Cozy throws the ball to Sham. Oh dear, the ball has popped on Sham's teeth. Whoops, but what's this? Is that a treasure map? Whoa, there's buried treasure. And it's buried on that desert island. But how will they get across the water? I think Buster has an idea. Whoa, Buster has built a ramp out of sand. Whoosh. Oh no. Splash. Buster couldn't jump far enough. I guess they'll have to try something else. What's Cozy seen? A giant lily pad? Maybe they can drift across the water. Uh-oh, Cozy's come to a stop. Cozy tries paddling, but they just go around in circles. Luckily, Sham can push them back to shore. Thanks, Sham. But they're still no closer to the island. But what's this? Sham has a raft! Now they can cross the water in no time! They've reached the island. Now, time to find that treasure. X marks the spot. Is this X the buried treasure? No, that's just some twigs. Is this X the treasure? No, that's just some seaweed. What about this X? Hooray! There's the treasure chest! Well done, Cozy! Look at all that shiny treasure! And look! A golden ball! Now they can play catch again! Well done, everyone! Hey there, Buster! Looks like a hot day out in the desert! Whoa! Look at that ahead! A big mountain with smoke rising from the top! What was that? It's Frida the sports car! She's speeding off toward the Smoky Mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. 
Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew! That was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava? I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster. Careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no! I think the volcano is erupting. Quick, guys, get out of there. Oh no! There are fireballs shooting out of the volcano. Look out! They'll be really hot. Oh no! Rita is stuck in the sand. Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster. Now quickly, drive away. Faster! Faster! Phew! That was a close one. Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. Bye, Rita. Hey there, Buster. What's that poster there? Hmm, a fire truck? Sure looks exciting, doesn't it? Look, it's Ashley the fire truck. I think Buster wants to join the fire brigade. <laughs> Go on, Buster. Time to get ready for your first day on the job. Just a few little changes and... <laughs> wow! Look at that! Buster really is a fire truck. He's got a ladder, a siren, and a water hose. Uh-oh, the fire alarm. There's a fire somewhere. Ashley has to go and take care of it. You stay here, Buster. Hey, it's Tony the truck. Watch out for that puddle. Oh no! That falling box started a fire. At the fire station. What are we going to do? Quick, Buster the fire truck. Put that fire out. Uh-oh, the fire has spread to the roof. Keep blasting water, Buster. Hooray, Robin is here to help. And Ashley's back, too. <gasps> you can do it if you work together. Two fire trucks are better than one. Phew, the fire is out at last. Nice work, Buster and Ashley. <laughs> It's that poster again. Now it's Buster on the poster. Whoa, you really are a hero, Buster. That's a pretty looking flower. What a bright sunny day it is. Buster is very happy today. And look there, a nice juicy red apple. Better hurry, Buster, or you'll be late for school. The lesson has already started, quick. Oh dear. I don't think the teacher is very happy with you being late, Buster. You better pay attention now to the lesson. <laughs> Looks like today you're going to have to drive through the cones. <laughs> Here comes Robin. Pay attention, Buster. Don't get distracted. Oh dear. The teacher doesn't look happy at all. It's time to drive through the cones. Orange bus is going first. Slow and steady, that's it. The teacher looks pleased. Now it's your turn, Buster. Good luck. Whoa, slow down, Buster. You're knocking the cones over. Try and stay inside the cones. Oh dear, that's not what you were told to do. That will teach you for going too fast. The teacher is very disappointed. It's the end of school. Time for everyone to go home. I think Buster is sad that he didn't do what he was told in the lesson. Maybe he should go and say sorry to the teacher. 
The teacher looks really tired. It's been a long day for her, too. I think she could use some cheering up. Now what could you... The apple! Great thinking, Buster. That's very kind of you. <laughs> and you've cheered up the teacher. Come on, Buster. You can do it this time. Slow and steady. That's right. You're concentrating and doing it really well, Buster. You did it! Nice work, Buster. Well oh, done. Oh, no! Bandit Bus is stealing <laughs> from the candy shop. Stop! Thief! It's Otis the police car. He's come to investigate the case of the stolen candy. Bandit Bus went that way, Otis. I don't think Otis saw Bandit Bus get away. Great idea, Otis. Follow the trail of candy. I think we know who it will lead to. There he is. Stop, thief. Look, Otis. Some more clues. Keep following the trail. Wow, Bandit Bus is dropping a lot of candy. Oh, hey, Buster. Oh, I don't think that candy is for you. Buster loves candy. Oh, dear, the trail of candy has led straight to Buster the bus. Otis must think that Buster is the thief. You've made a mistake, Otis. Buster is innocent. Poor Buster, what are you going to do? Otis is putting Buster in jail. Oh, Buster. Oh, here comes Scout. Maybe Scout can help Buster get out of jail. You have to help Buster, Scout. Prove he's innocent. That's right, Scout. Follow the trail of candy to find the truth. Scout the detective is on the case. There he is. Bandit Bus caught red-handed stealing from the toy shop. You're going down this time, Bandit Bus. Stop right there, in the name of the law. You're under arrest. It's time to put things right and get Buster out of jail. Come on out, Buster, you're innocent. And in goes Bandit the Bus. Thanks, Scout, you're a great detective. If it wasn't for you, Buster would still be locked up. I'm sorry, Bandit Bus, but you had it coming. Stealing is against the law. Well done, Otis. Bye, Bandit. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck. Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. Hey there, Buster. That's a great looking shark poster you've got there. Oh, Buster's looking really tired. I wonder what he'll dream about. What's this? Fins? Coral? Oh, wow, Buster. I think you're under the sea. Look at Buster go. The ocean is his new playground. Isn't it beautiful? Go for it, Buster. Jump into the sky. This is so much fun. Wait, what's that? 
It's a huge fish! Quick, Buster, hide! Oh, look. He's not big at all. He's tiny. It's okay, Buster. Nothing to worry about. But what's this? It's Sham the Shark. Look at all those sharp teeth. Hide, Buster. Quit. Oh, no. Buster has spun around the little fish, and now he's heading right for the shark. Sham the Shark seems very keen to make friends. But it looks like everyone is scared of him. Quick, little fish. Hide next to Buster. Wait a minute, the shark looks sad. Really sad. You know, Buster, I think that Sham is lonely. He was just being friendly. He doesn't have any friends. That's right, Buster. Go and say hello to him. See, he just wants someone to play with. Buster and Sham are having so much fun. The ocean is a great place to play chase and to make new friends. Look at them go! Oh, Buster's waking up! It was only a dream. You don't have any fins now, Buster. You're back to being a bus again. What a lovely underwater adventure. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight, along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh wow, he's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster. Five. Oh dear, down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops, he knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with, but he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. Oh no, he moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no. He's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. Bright new morning. And Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. Oh no, Buster accidentally ran over the present. It's flat as a pancake. Poor Buster. It was just an accident. But wait. I think Buster has an idea. Look, Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box. And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> 
Diggly's opening his presents and... Whoa! It's a pinata! It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes! One more smack! Look at all those sweets! An amazing birthday present! Buster is telling Cozy Coop a story. Once upon a time, the adventurers Buster and Cozy were driving through the deep wood. They came to a castle where King Terry lived. They were very excited to see him. But then, the evil villain Bandit locked Terry in the jail cell and stole his crown. Buster and Cozy wanted to help, but Bandit shut the drawbridge so they couldn't get in. Oh dear. But then, Buster had a plan. First, he got a big log. Cozy hopped on one end, and Buster bounced them high into the air. Cozy flew right over the castle walls. Bandit chased after them. But clever Cozy got away. Cozy was up on the wall. They pulled the lever and opened the drawbridge again. Bandit was angry and chased after Buster. But Buster tricked him. He climbed onto the log and boing! Buster flew over the castle walls too. Bandit tried to chase him, but Cozy shut the drawbridge again. Splash! Bandit ended up in the castle mode. Buster and Cozy rescued King Terry and gave him his crown back. Then Terry put Bandit back in jail where he belongs. Hooray for Buster and Cozy! The end. What a great story that was. Hey there, Buster. Oh, what's that? A soccer ball. Huh? Oh, look, Buster. All of your friends are lined up to play a soccer game. And they need one more player. Go on, Buster. This is going to be so much fun. Kick off. Aw, <laughs> oh, too slow, Buster. <laughs> CJ, the cement mixer, is going for a shot. What? Can Jesse Jeep save it? Come on, Jesse. You can do it. <gasps> oh, nearly, but goal! Nice shooting, CJ. Great header, Buster. What a kick, Scout. Great block, Digger. <laughs> Scout has played the ball of Digger. Scout's making a run for the goal. Go, Scout. You can do it. No one can tackle her. Goal! Way to go, Scout. Jesse to Scout. Scout kicks it on. Great kick, Digger. Straight to Bandit. Oh, that was a bit rough, Bandit. Is Bandit going to score? Can Jesse save it this time? Oh, no. Jesse burst the ball. Is that the end of the game? Oh, thank goodness. Otis has a spare ball. The game's back on. It's really heating up now. Buster's going for a run at the goal. Oh no! Bandit Bus shoved Buster. That's a foul! Good referee, Robin. Bandit's been given a red card. Robin's sending Bandit off. That's what happens when you play too rough. Now Buster gets to take a penalty shot. Come on, Buster! Goal! You did it, Buster! You won the game! And you won a nice trophy, too! That was so much fun! <laughs>